Hello dear friends, welcome to the channel, before watching the video, please subscribe to the channel and like it. Britain's Queen Elizabeth II made a surprise appearance on the balcony of Buckingham Palace on Sunday to close out her Platinum Jubilee celebration. She appeared on the balcony with the two future kings, Prince Charles and Prince William and their wives, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. William and Catherine's three children, Princes George and Louis and Princess Charlotte, also appeared on the balcony. The Queen only appeared for a few minutes. She waved to the thousands of people on the National Mall, who sang the God Save the Queen, according to BBC News. Elizabeth, 96, has been forced to scale back some of her appearances at the Platinum Jubilee, which marked her 70 years on the throne. She was unable to attend Thanksgiving services on Friday and the concert on Saturday, due to mobility issues. As the celebrations were winding down, Elizabeth issued a message thanking the British people. When it comes to how to mark 70 years as your queen, there is no guidebook to follow, the message said. It really is a first. But I have been humbled and deeply touched that so many people have taken to the streets to celebrate my Platinum Jubilee. While I may not have attended every event in person, my heart has been with you all, and I remain committed to serving you to the best of my ability, supported by my family. Quote, thanks for subscribing and liking. She said she was inspired by the kindness, joy and kinship that she has seen over the weekend, and she added that she hoped this renewed sense of togetherness will be felt for many years to come. Quote earlier Sunday, a hologram of the Queen appeared inside a 260-year-old carriage, the same one that she rode during her coronation, flanked by 200 horses marching through London to Buckingham Palace. The parade's finale was capped by singer Ed Sheeran, who sang Perfect and dedicated it to Elizabeth and her late husband, Prince Philip. At a concert Saturday night, Charles honored her as Your Majesty, Mummy, then paid tribute to her lifetime of selfless service. The Queen appeared in a pre-recorded video with Paddington Bear. You have met us and talked with us. You laugh and cry with us, and, most importantly, you have been there for us, for these 70 years, Charles said the scenes from the Queen's life were projected on the palace walls. You pledged to serve your whole life you continue to deliver. That is why we are here. That is what we celebrate tonight. Quote William preceded his father with remarks that underscored the Queen's long-time commitment to the environment, as he highlighted the need to combat climate change. Elizabeth's 70 years on a throne makes her the longest-serving monarch in British history, followed by Queen Victoria, who ruled for over 63 years. The longest-serving monarch in history is France's King Louis, who ruled for 72 years, and Thailand's Bumabula Duludij was on the throne for more than 70 years, and more days than the Queen. The family drama, so far, has not managed to eclipse the Queen's celebrations. Her estranged grandson, Prince Harry, and his wife Meghan, were present at the Thanksgiving service on Friday, as the rest of the family wished their daughter, Lilibet, a happy first birthday on social media. The only person, so far, who seemed to steal the show from Elizabeth was her four-year-old great-grandson, Louis, whose reaction to loud planes flying overhead has been seen around the world. Write in the comments what you think about this. And at the end of the video I ask you to subscribe and like, thank you.